What is an American thing, but Americans think everyone outside of America does it? Veterans discount. When I worked in retail, I would occasionally have to explain that being a past or active member of the American military doesn't qualify you for a discount in Australia. It was usually family of the veteran who would be asking, sometimes demanding, the price reduction. American veterans are demanding discounts in Australia. I am so embarrassed. Naming mere suspects of crimes with their complete names and a picture in the news. Yea, and then people feel comfortable mentioning their names in podcasts and shit, even after they have been cleared. Sorry, can't you just refer to them as ex-boyfriend A or something? I find it incredibly unethical for the police to release that information to the public. In Poland, even once you are convicted, they only release your first name and first letter of your surname. In some circumstances, they will give the full name, but that's rare. They don't even release pictures of people before they get convinced, unless it's needed, and that's incredibly rare. You know why? Because everyone is innocent until proven otherwise, and pictures getting out can lead to stigmatization. Edit. Spelling errors. Having the waiter take your credit card at a restaurant. Most other countries bring the machine to you, so you can pay at the table and at least reduce the risk of having your credit card information stolen. I'm Dutch and currently in the US. Today, a waiter came up to me and said, So your credit card needs a PIN code. Are you comfortable giving your PIN code, or do you want to walk with me and type it in? How much do you think? You think I'm gonna hand you my PIN code? Lot. The gas pump only turning on after you paid. I was in the UK and filling up my rental at a somewhat rural station and was flabbergasted that I was supposed to pay after. I asked the guy if people ever leave without paying, and he just shrugged and said sometimes, but not often enough that it's a problem. If you're sufficiently rural in the US, you might still find that too, but it's essentially extinct in cities and suburbs. Most UK petrol stations are covered in SecTV, and there is a specific law dealing with making off without payment, commonly known as bilking, and a marker will be placed on your car and pulled over at the next opportunity. Edit. Corrected to without payment. Drinking root beer. My Brazilian friend told me they do not drink that as it is the flavor of their toothpaste. I think I've heard some people from outside the US describe it as tasting like medicine too. I'm not 100 sure if that was root beer, Dr. Pepper or both. I wish root beer was as common as Coke or Pepsi in the UK. I only drank root beer when I went on holiday to Florida. I absolutely love the stuff. African Americans I remember seeing a news report in 2017 about the riots in Paris and a con anchor commenting about all the African American people involved. You might be surprised to hear that African Americans really aren't a thing outside of America. The over-the-top customer service attitude. On a trip abroad, my wife thought that she upset the waiter somehow because he was generally neutral in his interaction. It was generally neutral because it was a generally neutral interaction. No need for that customer service attitude. Tip culture probably has something to do with it. Drinking out of red solo cups in college. A friend of mine studied abroad in London and said her new friends asked if we actually used them or if they were only in the movies. I literally saw red plastic cups in Poundland the other day that were labeled American cups. Edit. Guys, I get it. Poundland is a funny name. But it's literally just the dollar store in British pounds instead of American dollars. That's an interesting one because I feel like most Americans don't think of it as an American thing, not because we assume that it's international, but just that I think we're surprised how strongly other countries associate red slow cups with American culture. Like, to me, red solo cups are just kind of a weird little quirk of American college culture, but then it seems like to a lot of people in other countries, they're emblematic of it. In high school, we had some German exchange students visit, and when they went home, they packed an extra suitcase full of blue jeans and red solo cup. Hospitals connected to specific insurances, and you having to make sure you go to the right one, how do you even do that after a car crash? and insurance companies deciding what treatment a patient gets. It's even worse when an uncovered doctor works at a covered hospital. Having garbage disposal unit installed and a kitchen sink. My wife and I are hosting an exchange student from Germany. She was very confused the first time I turned on the disposal. The funnier part of that is that in the US, you'll be somewhat used to what can and can't go in there. My old neighbors came from Europe and weren't used to it, so they shoved everything, food-related, in the garbage disposal. 
managed to clog the entire building's plumbing. That wasn't fun. Free refills on sodas. My first time in London without my parents, 20 years ago or so, I stopped into a McDonald's for a quick bite and a Coke. I was tired and jet-lagged and just wanted something I didn't have to think about. The cashiers looked at me like I'd sprouted another head when I asked for a refill. I thought maybe it was a cultural word like cookie and biscuit, so I took the lid off and offered the empty cup to fill again. The exchange went something like, them, you'd like a what? Me, just a refill on coke, please a me, we can just give you a new cup, this one is fine, I'm just taking out with me, right? But you're wanted to buy a new drink, yeah. Hmm, Sue, you don't refill drinks free, like just one price for the whole time you're here. Or drink this much soda. Really? An entire 55th aisle of the grocery store is all soda? Edit. I'm not editing my homophone mishap. Thanks for pointing it out. Have grape-flavored foods. I'm sure it exists elsewhere, but I've never seen it here in the UK. We have blackcurrant flavor instead, which is the purple version in sweets and drink. Blackcurrants were outlawed in the US for many years. The blackcurrant plant acts as a reservoir for a disease that attacks white pine. This is probably another way of saying the US grows a ridiculous amount of white pine compared to other countries. The rest of the world needs to get on the best flavor America ever invented, blue. But grape flavor doesn't taste like grapes. Yes, it does. It tastes like Concord grapes, species vitis, Labrusca fox grape, rather than V. vinifera wine grape. The sheer amount of ad breaks when watching a TV show. In the US, there seems to be one every 10 lines, but here in the UK, you get a break halfway through a show and then in between shows, and that's it. This varies wildly by country, and the US isn't even close to the worst. In India, they have an ad break every five minutes or so. That would be bad enough, but they, I shit you not, play the same set of ads every single break for hours on end. It's entirely common to actually repeat an ad twice in the same break with a different one in between, if you're lucky. Then you get five minutes of show before watching literally the same ad again, twice. It's completely insane and feels more like brainwashing or torture than advertisement. Nobody under like 50 years old still watches TV interviews, largely because of the commercials. Born and raised in the US, Massachusetts. When I went to Australia, I automatically assumed that the waiter would bring the bill over when they think we're done eating and just tell us to pay whenever we're ready. I sat at the table for a good 15 minutes just browsing my phone with no food or drink on the table until I decided to call a waiter over. They told me when I'm ready, I can pay at the front counter, went to Brazil to visit my wife's family and we ordered some street food. I tried to pay upon order and my wife told me they take payment after we finish eating, even if it's street food. After eating, we totally forgot that we haven't paid yet and just got up and walked away because we're so used to paying upon order. About 50 meters of walking, I was like, wait, we didn't pay for the food. We rushed back to pay and the cooks had a good laugh about it. As an Australian trying to figure out whether a cafe is table service, order at counter or pay at counter can be tricky. Some places will bring your food out, but others will call your name. Being brought the bill without asking is seen as rude in the UK, like the staff are trying to get you to leave ASAP. I've seen sit, down, and waiter, serves, you restaurants where you pay at the counter in the use, even in my. Usually they tell you though, no joke, I knew a girl who really thought every country lit fireworks on the 4th of July. I had an American girl ask me what I was doing for Thanksgiving and had to tell her we don't have that where I live low. I got that frequently when I worked in the US. You don't have 4th of July? We're not in the habit of celebrating wars we lost. I told somebody, as a joke, during the 2018 World Cup that there weren't going to be any matches on the 4th because of Independence Day. Really, it was just a break in the schedule in the knockout round. I was kind of shocked that was sound enough reasoning for them, because the conversation just continued on. The icing on the cake was that the US wasn't even in that World Cup. I met a French woman when I was a teenager. It was nearly July 4. And during our conversation, I wanted to ask, do you celebrate an Independence Day too? And instead, I asked, do you celebrate the 4th of July too? I still cringe when I think about it. 
She was incredibly understanding and told me all about Bastille Day, kicking off my lifelong respect for France's long history of declaring independence from the oppressive upper class. We in the UK do one fifth of November when someone tried to blow up our parliament. I am an Australian, except when posting in a local sub, I assume that most Redditors are American. I am Portuguese and same. Driving for long periods of time just to go to work or stall. I always hear people complaining about a trip taking like 15 minutes. To me, that's a really short time. Yeah, weird, I drive 20 minutes to work and I consider it close. My co-worker drives an hour and a half and considers $25 an hour to be worth it. An American woman and I were watched Donovan Bailey run a race. He's a Jamaica, born Canadian, and she called him African American. I'm mixed race, half English and half Jamaican. We got talking to a group of American girls in Amsterdam, and one of them referred to me as a British African American lo- You care. The price you see in a shop is the price you actually pay. In the US, there are two states with no sales tax. I live in one of them, and I constantly forget about it, and I'm surprised at checkout when I visit other states. Peanut butter and jelly. I couldn't believe it wasn't a worldwide thing. As a UK person, I've adopted it as it's delicious. Though I was extremely confused by it, as kid as this is what we call jelly in the UK. UK jelly. Having public bathroom stall doors that do not go all the way to the floor. Growing up, I thought baseball was as widely played as football, soccer, worldwide. Crazy how the World Series only consists of us teams and the Blue Jay. I think football is the only truly global game. Sure, it's much more popular in Europe, South America and Africa than it is in North America, Asia and Oceania. But when the World Cup is on, there are very few people in the world who aren't at least aware of it. And I reckon at least half of the world's population could tell you who just won it. Unless I'm just as out of touch as some Americans. When I came to us from Canada to see a friend after dinner when we were splitting the bill, they asked if I could just Venmo it over. And then I told them we don't have Venmo. And then I saw the shocked Pikachu meme. And then I saw the shocked Pikachu meme face around me. So I'm gonna say Venmo. English person here. Free bank transfers are just part of my bank's app on my phone. The idea that I'd have to use a third-party app to do what I want with my own money seems insane. I bought something from someone in the US recently. We were both known to each other, so no worry of fraud, etc. They initially refused to make the sale unless I used Venmo. It took some convincing that it wasn't possible as Venmo doesn't exist outside the US. They then went to every possible money transfer system they could find and started sending me details, creating accounts, etc. In the end, I got fed up and directly sent the money to their bank account for mine. I could see all the details of one of the emails they'd sent me. I let them know and got a panicked email back telling me they didn't know how to collect the money and what company do they contact. They absolutely didn't believe me when I told them to just wait for a few days and it will appear in their account. I was blown away. I've been banking like this for 20 years, yet some Americans seem to think it is all a recent revolution. Australian here. It genuinely confused me when I found out that Americans don't have bank transfer. I have instant transfer with anyone. You just get their bank details and send it over. Calling the main meal an entree. Elsewhere, most of the world, including France, from where the word comes. It's the course preceding the main course. Synonyms are appetizer, starter, or whores du... Edit. Whores duvers are not the same as appetizers. I use the term as a generality to differentiate main from non-main courses. Thanks to those who pulled me up on the specificity edited too. I'm referring to restaurant. Home meals may be a completely different thing. As one us Redditor pointed out, they just called them meal. Mem died. Yai. This one sucks in Canada because both ways are very common and there is rarely an indication which way was used on whatever you're looking at, so you have to get. I hadn't thought of this. I personally switched to Iso Yai, Mem dead and it messes with people. Pharmaceutical commercials. Seems like half of commercials in the US are some drug abstaining. Ask your doctor if it is right for you. At will employment. Immense portions in restaurants and then taking a slightly less immense but still big box full of leftovers home. Calling the main course an entree when entree means starter, appetizer. 
Thank God it was driving me insane that an entree was the main course. It went against everything I knew. Holy shit. The First Amendment. I just howled with laughter when some Canadian convoy protester claimed he had First Amendment rights when the First Amendment in the Canadian Constitution actually provided for the government of Manitoba. Till edit, what the Canadian First Amendment is. Correction. Not a convoy protester, but a convoy protester's legal counsel. Yeah, he wasn't aerial lawyer, just someone who thought he knew better than the judge. Tipping. Tipping. Ex-bartender in the UK. I only ever got tips if I showed some cleavage. This is so true, for example, here in Finland, we don't have a tipping culture, and I work in tourism, so I often have to explain to many tourists, mostly Americans, that I can't take tip. Having limited sick days. Eat ranch dressing. This is very much an American continent. Answering the where are you from question with a city or state, assuming everyone knows where Arkansas is, or even how to pronounce it. If someone asked and I gave my city name, they wouldn't have a clue where that is. Hell, some people don't even know where my country is at. It took me about three tries to get tap water in Germany. What's a bitter? Mineral water. Sparkling mineral water. Sparkling mineral water. Nine? Wasser only mineral. Quell wassers, spring water, neen wasser von den kitchen sink. Litungs wasser, tap water. J. Danke. That glass of water cost me more than a beer of equivalent volume. If I am not mistaken, and I could be very much so, here in Germany you should get tap water for free at a restaurant. It's just very unusual to ask for it, as they most often serve stills wasser, water without sparkling. Also, any restaurant needs to have at least one drink that's less expensive than beer, so that alcohol can't be the cheapest they have. <laughs>